over the weekend on Sunday, we had a referendum here in Greece, and it was running neck and neck according to the polls, but what eventually came out was that the side that said no to more austerity is the side that ended up winning. And the, the margin of victory was so large, 22 percent, that it has changed the complexion of the negotiation. At this point, where we stand in terms of negotiation is that the Greek prime minister has a mandate from his people to not uh, go with austerity, and the position that the uh, troika of institutions, ha the creditors, have gone with. Instead, he has a mandate to negotiate further according to the position that the Greek government had, which is very much in line with uh, the troika on primary uh, budget targets, but is very different in terms of other extenuating circumstances like reforms, and particularly on uh, debt reduction. Now, the one thing that has changed uh, in the interim that we've seen is, is that the European Central Bank has decided that they are going to react to the situation that's uh, occurred. Uh, they see that the situation uh, is not going to uh, be resolved very promptly, and as a result of that, the fiscal situation for the Greek government has deteriorated, and they have said that they need larger haircuts. That means more collateral for loans from the Greek banks for emergency liquidity assistance. And what that effectively means is, is, is that the Greek banks will remain closed and remain shut longer than we would have anticipated before. This is the latest information and the most uh, pressing problem. It's the bank situation that is the most pressing for the people because, in particular, pensioners are not able to get their money out of banks. Uh, we now have a limit of about 60 euros per uh, a transaction per day uh, that you can get out of banks. But in reality, uh, many people are saying that they can only get 50 euros because they've run out of 20 euro uh, bills. They've run out of 10 uh, euro bills. And as a result, uh, pensioners who are very much dependent upon uh, liquidity in terms of cash are uh, destitute. Uh, moreover, uh, companies are finding that they're having difficulty exporting and importing because bills of lading aren't able to be drafted by the banks uh, where they have accounts. So the banking system has drawn to a close. The fact that uh, you you have all of this uncertainty is causing people to delay their 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 spending, and as a result, the economy is in a seized sort of state. Unless we get some sort of deal within the next a few days, there's going to be a very dramatic change in terms of the situation with the Greek banks. And the government of Greece is going to have to decide, do we nationalize these banks? Uh, do we start uh, printing IOUs rather than using euros? Or do we just uh, capitulate and go with the offer that was handed to us uh, by the Troika of institutions? In the end, even though we did get a no vote and it was very dramatic, the ECB has decided the situation. And it, now it is up to the Greek government to decide how they're going to react uh, because of the banking situation.